Hey dolls, so today we're going to be doing a DIY video. I'm so excited. So I'm going to be showing you dolls how I made this um, coffee table out of a cardboard box. Oh my god, this was one of the most funnest projects to put together and I can't wait to see how we do this. So um, basically it's going to be a mirrored um, coffee table, side table, coffee table, whatever you want to call it. So grab your coffee, grab your tea and let's do this. And also all the pieces I got from Dollar Tree and Lowe's. So let's get started. Oh, and funny thing is, I'm doing this intro from my bathroom because the lighting is bomb. Amazing lighting, I had to. And I'm wearing a dress that you saw, if you've not seen my um, lookbook, it's actually from, um, what's, that, <laughs> what's that site called? Boho.com, and it's just a little sporty dress. And I wore it, not in my lookbook, but my try-on haul, so go check it out if you haven't already. And yeah, so grab your coffee, grab your tea, and let's do this video. Also, if you're new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you know what to do. Subscribe down below, and also hit the bell button, because um, sometimes some people complain to me that they don't get, like, any notifications. So um, hit the bell button so it can come straight to your phone. Um, yeah, so... Now the first items you will need is um, spray paint, to spray paint um, the parts of your box that you think might show, um, the, the cardboard box that you think might show. You want it to be this colour right here, which is metallic silver, to match the whole theme. The next item you'll need, and by the way I changed, <laughs> because it's raining outside and I'm going to have to go outside to do some spray painting, so I need to be covered up. So look, the next item you'll need is this, um, it's actually... Mirror marble, and I got all of this from Lowe's by the way. This is mirror marble and granite for kitchen and bath. And basically what this is gonna do is, um, I've never used this before so, <laughs> but basically what it's gonna do is seal up the edges of the glass. You're gonna need that, because when they cut your glass, it's gonna be raw and it can literally cut you, the edges. So you need that for sure, and this is the one I got here, just to look at it closely again. Screenshot this. <laughs> Okay, so next you would need, actually this is it, <laughs> my pad, this is the sealant, so you know what, let's take that back, why did I get this, oh this is the glue, so this is to glue, sorry, screenshot this again, this is the glue to, um, you can tell I'm doing this for the first time by the way, this is the glue to um, glue your um, glass onto the cardboard box, so yeah, let's take that back, because they just all look the same. Um, and this is called Lexel, and this is actually to seal, it's clear, so it's going to dry clear. It's like a silicone, and you know how like on mirrors and glass you have like the edge, really like this little gummy thing around it? Well, this is it, and it seals um, elastic, so it's like this stretchy band, and um, it does every job, as they say. So yeah, you'll need this for sure. Okay, and then what DIY project is not done without this? Come on now. E600, you need E600, and this is, um, I mean, so common. If you're in the UK or anywhere else in the world and they don't sell it in your country, you can order this online on Amazon.com. So yeah, that's what you would need. You will need a plain box, and this is the box that I have before. I made I actually had to make this box, and I got these two um, cardboard from Dollar Tree. So um, I put them together and made my own box, but um, I didn't even know that <laughs> they sell boxes in quite a lot of stores, like Lowe's, and I should have just done that. So this is the box I'm going to be doing. I'm going to spray paint this all silver with spray paint so it can look, you know, good. <laughs> hey doll, so I have the box, and I'm going to spray paint it first. I've already done one side here. I'm trying to catch sunlight, so... Here it is. Ooh, oh, struggle. You see? So yeah. I'm gonna spray paint and give it like a second coat. And make sure you stay away from it so it doesn't get in your hair. You don't have to do the top part, but then what I'm gonna do is do the corners because any side that is um I'm gonna do the corners because you don't want any side like basically everywhere that the um, glass will be around you want it to look silver so I'm just going to do the, the sides of it you don't have to spray paint the whole thing but you want all corners done you see that and the bottom part as well and just do 
step away. Each side silver, so I'm doing this side. Spray paint. Oh, it's so sparkly. <laughs> And it doesn't have to be neat, but where the corners are, you want it to be like really covered in silver or whatever color that you're doing, like if you're doing gold. Just to create that um, metal effect, metallic effect. So make sure the corners and edges are like done, like right here where, you see that? And I'm gonna cut that off. So I'm gonna just spray it off camera. So as the um, so as the uh, box is outside drying, me and my mum, you can, you can show them, me and my mum are just opening up these frames and deframing them. So taking out, um, de taking out the um, glass inside and the actual picture until you're left with something that looks like this. So I have like done, we've done a few of them and make sure you just um, take them out. So you want to keep this little thing on the edge still here. So that's what we're doing. Here's like the other side of it here. So that's what we're doing. We're just deframing them right now. So I'm going to let you see. Okay, so I'm going to empty, not empty, but cut all of these, as you can see, and just take these out of the case real quick and open the back of the case like this. And these are Dollar Tree, so this does not, and be careful, there's glass in it. You want to dispose of those nicely. And I have a stack of these here. So I'm just stacking them. The empty, all I want is this. And I want these little things on the back. Um, mommy, going to need some help with the glass. <laughs> wait, oh, wait, wait. I'm going to do that next, actually. Don't worry. So, yeah, just keep doing this. Taking this back out. Put it away. We don't need it. And then we just need this. So I'm going to complete this process trust me it's a tedious process depends on how many um, depending on how many you have of these take it out all we need is this and just keep doing the same thing be careful with the glass when you dispose the glass just take the backs of the frames out See the collection that I have right here? It's a bit insane, but that's how it's going to look right now as we do it. Take it out. And then you're going to be left with a bunch of frames. <laughs> but don't break them. They're very, like, flimsy. And you're going to have... I have, like, 12 frames. So... Oh, wait. There's another one. Wait. One more underneath here. So, again, obviously cut the little plastic film that they have off of it. Open it. Oh, see? I broke it. <laughs> Don't worry. We've always got some glue to fix that. But still, it's kind of annoying having to fix it. They're really cheap frames Dollar Tree has. I'm not going to lie. Like, they're really cheap. They break easily. Oh, what a mess. This came... It just. You see that, Mummy? Dollar Tree's frames are so cheap. <laughs> oh, what a mess. Okay. So, you're going to take your glass, I have so much, okay, so look, here's the mirror, you're going to take the mirror, be careful, be really careful, they taped it up for me, and I'm just going to cut the tape off gently, and peel this off, they taped it on all ends, and remember I was saying at the beginning that you can use this little silicone thing to seal off the edges, I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to seal off my edges because, um, you know, it's going to be in a picture frame. So we don't need to do that. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to take this all out off camera and I'm going to come back and show you how I did this.
like how I put it in the frame. So here's all the well here's some of the mirrors. I'm still um doing the other ones. So I noticed some of them, Dollar Tree is so cheap, look, they're breaking easily and some of them don't fit into the frames. So I don't know if that's the mirror or Dollar Tree itself, but it's kind of annoying. So we're gonna try and do our best. I'm gonna put them on the corner and just there. So I'm gonna keep going. So just putting these, making sure I don't cut myself into the frame. See, fits perfectly. Some pit fit, I said pit, some fit perfectly and some don't. You see, bam, done. It's kind of loose though. I feel it needs something in the back to hold it. It's kind of loose. I feel like it needs the actual picture frame or the cardboard. Mm, yeah. It might need the cardboard, yeah, yeah, to kind of hold it. So you might want to rip this thing off here and redo that. To open it is kind of hard again. So I'm gonna just open that up. Dolls, first time project is not easy to know what <laughs> is meant to happen. So I'm gonna put it in like this. Oh man. Okay, there we go. Um there we go. Just to have something so when the glue catches it, it catches it holds on to something and it and it just holds the picture. Not the picture but the mirror in place. So what you're going to do is, because i got my fingerprints all over these when I was putting them in, you're going to take this, um, I got from Dollar Tree, it is Armour All Auto Glass Cleaner and you're going to just spray it on all of them. And so I'm back out now, this is dried, kind of, kind of, yeah it's dry. So this is going to be where the main glass will go, this is just the sides. So I'm going to start on, oh. Let's see, I'm gonna start on this side. See, it got on my nail, ew. Okay. So I'm just placing them where I need them to be. Can you see that? <laughs> it's coming together. I'm gonna to bring this close to the edge and we're gonna cut this trash off, <laughs> the duct tape. Just bring them close to, closely to the edges. You don't want, you see that? It doesn't matter if there's too much of a gap in between them. There we go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you see that? Ooh. So I'm using one hand to like film, so it's going to be hard. So now I've like leveled everything up. I'm going to take these off. Put them down. And I'm going to take my glue. Never used this glue before. I'm so used to E40, whatever glue. Don't look at me in the mirror. You know, I'm going to figure this out off camera. <laughs> Dolls, you see it's picking up, wait. Oh, and I just got an idea. You can take it a step further by adding like um, little, um, what's it called, crystals inside here. Like knobs. Obviously not real knobs that don't move, but you know what I'm trying to say. So yeah, this is how it looks. It's still drying, so I don't want to keep picking it up. But here you go. You see that? Still drying, I don't want to pick it up. I'm going to let that dry. And I'm going to go and get the glass. <laughs> So I've got enough amount of glue that I want on there. I'm going to just take, and I put some in the middle too. I'm going to take my glass, line it up again how I did it last time, and bring it really close to the edge. Be really careful. And just... So this is before. Just a plain old box. After. Here is after. So it's done! My first DIY project! 
how gorgeous I am obsessed look at it and then as you can see on top I put my favorite Chanel book grab your coffee grab your tea let's go shopping my coffee mug and these flowers from home goods how freaking gorgeous is this oh and this is outside so you'd see the trees in the background but oh my god i'm absolutely gobsmacked it's exactly how i visioned it will come out wow like <laughs> and you know what my idea is to do is to put like knobs right there going around it crystal knobs how gorgeous would that look yes but in the process look on my leggings do you see that oh so yeah gorgeous oh my god we did it wow coffee table goals <laughs> Wow, this is out of a cardboard box. Can you believe it? Can you believe this is out of a cardboard box? Wow. I'm going to take this up a step further. Oh my God, this is, oh, love it. So gorgeous. Look at it. Oh, I love it. Can you imagine? So to make this project, I'm going to put the price down below. Oh, my car is in the background. Don't look. <laughs> the license plate. To make this project, I believe I spent over, under $50. Under. Yeah. At the most 60. I'm going to calculate everything and I'll probably put the price below in the description box once I finish calculating. But it was really inexpensive because this, you know, will cost an arm and a leg inside Home Goods. Oh my god, I had so much fun making that. So it's so pretty. I love it so much and it's so inexpensive. I'm gonna put down here how much it costs to do all of that, which is definitely under two hundred dollars, definitely under a hundred dollars. Um basically you can make that for less. Like you can make that for less without even having to buy, you know, like you know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> like in Home Goods or Z Gallery and all those stores that I go shopping at, that will cause cost. $200 at least in Z Gallery so to make that I mean it's so good and no one will ever know unless you tell them so yeah thank you so much for watching dolls give this video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you're new to my channel subscribe down below I'm holding my camera it's about to fall so yeah so I'll see you dolls in my next video bye smooches